Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video, we will consider the multiplication of two signals, wherein the signal x of t and y of t are given as shown. So, this is x of t and this is y of t. x of t exists from minus 1 to 3 and uh, y of t exists from this is minus 2, minus 2 to plus 2. So, this is uh, y of t. So, what I have to sketch is, I have to sketch z of t. z of t is nothing but multiplication of x of t with y of minus 1 minus t. x of t is given as it is, but uh, y of t minus 1 minus t, there is a shift, there is a reflection. So, I have to consider uh, that. I have to sketch y of minus 1 minus t. Then later, I need to multiply those two signals to get z of t. Is that okay? So, I would recommend you to watch this video till end so that you will understand this concept very easily. So, I will explain everything step by step and make you understand each and every concept behind it. Is that okay? Uh, first, uh, let me sketch y of minus 1 minus t. First, try to understand what are all the operations involved in y of minus 1 minus t. So, I will just write it over here y of minus 1 minus t. So, what are all the operations involved? First, I will write it, uh, this as y of minus t minus 1. Is that okay? So, uh, minus 1 is nothing but the shift. So, first uh, there is a shift and there is a reflection. So, I have to first do the shifting operation, then I have to do the reflection operation. Is that okay? So, whatever the signal I have drawn here, I will call this as y of t minus 1. So, I will shift this signal to the right by 1 and I get y of t minus 1. Later, how do I get y of minus t minus 1? So, this signal I will call it as y of minus t minus 1. So, whatever the signal I get, I take, I will draw the reflected version of that so that I will get y of minus t minus 1. Towards the end, I have to multiply them so that I would get the signal z of t. Is that okay? Uh, this is how I have drawn everything. Uh, uh, what I have to do is I have to multiply x of t with y of minus t minus 1. That is why I have drawn uh, these two signals one below the other. So that multiplication becomes very easier for us to understand. Yes, let's begin with the process. So I said uh, I have to first uh, sketch y of t minus 1. And uh, y of t is already there. Uh, what, what do you mean by y of t minus 1? I have to shift the signal to the right by 1. It is existing from minus 2 to plus 2. If I shift it to the right by 1, the new signal exists from minus 1 to plus 3. Is that okay? So, how do I get the limit? To get the limit, add 1 everywhere to the extreme limits. So, 2 plus 1 becomes 3. Minus 2 plus 1 becomes minus 1. So, these will be my uh, limits of the new signal. Is that okay? So, the shape of the signal will remain same. The only thing is it gets shifted to the right by 1. Uh, let me sketch uh, that signal now. So, I am just uh, sketching y of t minus 1. So, try to understand how uh, we are sketching y of t minus 1. Shift the signal to the right by 1. So, that uh, we will get y of t minus 1. This is how it is. Here it is minus 1. 0 to 1 it will be minus 1. Later it is something like this. Are you, are you understanding what I am doing now? I said whenever I am doing shifting, whether it is to the right or to the left, the shape of the signal will never get changed. It, it remains same, but the only thing is it gets shifted uh, to the right or to the left. Is that is that okay? So, once you understand that, uh, this is nothing but our signal y of t minus 1. Are, are you understanding this? Is, that, is this uh, thing okay? The amplitude is 1 here, 1 here and it will be minus 1 over here. So, what is the difference? Whatever the signal I have over here, that gets shifted to the right by 1. So, that I get y of t minus 1. Is this the task okay? The next task is, I need to get y of minus t minus 1. I got y of t minus 1. y of minus t minus 1 is nothing but there is a reflection operation involved. So, whatever uh, we have the signal over here, I need to reflect it along the vertical axis. Are you, are you getting it? So, I need to reflect this signal along 
the vertical axis. So first I will uh, write the limits. Whatever negative limits are there, they become positive limits. And whatever positive limits are there, so they become negative limits. So minus 1 will become plus 1. 0 remains as 0. And I have 1, 2, 3. They become minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. So this is important. Is this is this okay? Now, if everything gets shifted, everything gets uh, reflected along the vertical axis, how does that look like? So whatever I have here that comes over here and whatever I have here that comes to the right side. So drawing that signal this would look something like this. So this is the easiest thing. First I will uh, draw that. Yes. Is this, is this stuff okay? So whatever I had here, the reflected version of this along the vertical axis, that is how it looks like. Then the reflected version of this along uh, again the vertical axis, I have to sketch it. So try to sketch it by your own. If not, uh, try to refer what I am doing now. This is still minus 1 and from this to this, it gets shifted it get reflected something like this then I have to consider sketching something like this yes I'm getting it correct yes now I got it correct so this I call it as the reflected version that signal is y of minus t minus 1 amplitudes 1 here it is also 1 here it is minus 1 is that okay so sketching the reflected version becomes very important so one has to understand the operation of reflection uh, uh, operation so once you understand that I got uh, the final signals that is x of t and y of minus 1 minus t both are available. I need to multiply the now so that I will get the final signal that is z of t. This is what I am looking for. So to get the z of t, to get z, the signal z of t what I have to do is I will first let me write the extreme limits. Uh, limits of these two things I will consider minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. So I will write down all the limits. This is minus 3. This I will write it as minus 2. This I will write it as minus 1. And what about the limits over here? It is 1, 2, 3. So it is 1, 2, 3. So it is the x axis is time. It is t. So now uh, let me consider uh, point by point, uh, term by term. From at minus 3, at t equal to minus 3, this signal is 1. At uh, t equal to minus 3, I don't have anything here. Till minus 1, I don't have anything. Therefore, at minus 3 it will be 0, at minus 2 it will be 0 and minus 1 it will be 0. So all in all it becomes 0 that is from minus 3 till minus 1. So this is uh, very important. Are you understanding this? So I have to get a 0 that is from minus 3 till minus 1. This is important. Till minus 1 everything is 0. So now you check at minus 1 at minus 1, this signal is minus 1 and this signal is 0, so hence it is 0. So I got it, got it till minus 1. So now let me check the value at 0. At 0, so I will I am talking with respect to x of t. All of you please pay your attention. So this, the point is very important here. At 0, at the time 0, what is the amplitude? Is it minus 1 or is it 0? It is taking two values now. Similarly come over here. At 0, what is the value? It is taking minus 1, it is taking plus 1. So which value I have to consider? That point becomes very important. So I will just tell you one trick. At 0, as I am moving from minus 1 to 0, at 0th position I will consider the amplitude as minus 1. Are you, are you okay with this? Once I am moving from 0 to 1, at the same position 0, I will take the amplitude as 0. Are you, are, are you understanding? Let me tell you the same point over here. At the position 0, as I am moving from minus 1 to 0, I will consider the amplitude as minus 1. Once I start moving from 0 to 1, at the position 0, I will consider the amplitude as plus 1. So I will use this trick so that uh, I can solve the numerical very easily. So now I have to sketch the uh, amplitude at the position 0. 
at position 0 here with respect to x of t, as I am moving from minus 1 to 0, I will take the amplitude as minus 1. Are you understanding? Minus 1. Now, at the position 0, as I am moving from minus 1 to 0, the amplitude is minus 1. So, minus 1 into minus 1 is nothing but plus 1. Did you understand what I have uh, done? At, uh, at position 0, both the amplitudes are minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1, they get multiplied and I am going to get plus 1. So, I will draw the signal. The previous point was here, current point is here. So, join the, both the points so that I will get a straight line, a ramp signal. Is that okay? So, now, as I am moving from 0 to 1, I have to consider the amplitude again now. So, in this position it is 0. Are you understanding? I am moving from 0 to 1. The amplitude at the position 0 is going to be 0 now. Previously it was minus 1. Now I am saying it is 0. So, if you understand this point, you can solve any numerical on these concepts. Are you getting it? So, now come back to this signal. 0 to 1 I am moving. At the position 0, now I will say the amplitude is 1. Are you okay? Previously I said minus 1. But now I am saying it is 1. As I am moving from 0 to 1, I will take the amplitude as 1. Previously it was 0, now it is 1. So, 1 into 0, I am going to get 0. Is that okay? The previous point was over here. Current point, I got it now. So, I will just join these two points and I am going to get something like this. That is going to be the signal for time being. Is that okay? Next, consider the position at 1. At position 1, straight away it is 1. It is taking only one value. There is no difficulty in that. I will take the amplitude as 1. Here, at 1, it is taking 1 as well as 0. So, which value you have to consider? As I am moving from 0 to 1, at the position 1, I will take the amplitude as 1. 1 into 1, I am going to get both get multiplied and I'll get the amplitude as 1. So, previous point was at uh, 0. Current point, I got it over here. So, I'll join those two points so that I'll get the signal. It's not looking a like a straight line. Yes, let me draw it again. So, it has to be a straight line. In the sense, the ramp signal. Yes. Uh, not very clear. Uh, what I do is I'll just make use one straight line and draw it very clearly. Yes, now I got it uh, uh, very much like a T signal, like a ramp signal. Is that okay? So now at position 1, amplitude is 1. So this at position 1, it takes two values. As I was moving from 0 to 1 at position 1, I took the amplitude as 1. So now I'm moving from 1 to 2, I'll take the amplitude as 0. Here it is 1. 1 into 0, I am going to get 0. So, previous point was there. Current point is here. So, now I will just make use of the straight line and I will join these two points. And I am ultimately going to get a signal something like this. So, this is the signal. Is that okay? Check at uh, position 2. At position 2, this is 1. I don't have anything over here. So, that is also going to be 0. That will be 0. At the position 3, this is 0, this is 0, and uh, I am going to get 0 again. So, the signal looks something like this. Z of t is the signal which looks like this. So, ultimately, this is how I get Z of t. There are even more interesting concepts on such signals, uh, on sketching of uh, two signals, which are multiplications. And uh, we'll consider uh, such numericals in the upcoming videos. And I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them in the comment section. I will definitely love to answer those, your uh, comments. And uh, meanwhile, subscribe to our channel, NG Classes, for more videos on uh, signals and systems. And thank you everyone for watching.